Genesis 38. And it was at that time that Yehuda went down from his brothers and turned in to a certain Adullami, whose name was Hira. And Yehuda saw there a daughter of a certain Kna'ani, whose name was Shur. And he took her and went into her, and she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Er. And she conceived again and bare a son, and she called his name Onan. And yet, and she yet again bare a son, and called his name Shelah. And he was at Kazib when she bore, she bare him. And Yehuda took a woman for Er, his firstborn, and her name was Tamar. And Er, Yehuda's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of Yahweh, and Yahweh slew him. And Yehuda said to Onan, Go into thy brother's woman, and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her, and raise up seed to thy brother. And Onan knew that the seed would not be his. And it was, when he went into his brother's woman, that he spilled it on the ground, lest he should give seed to his brother. And the thing which he did was evil in the sight of Yahweh, and he slew him also. Then said Yehuda to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow in thy father's house, till Shelah my son be grown up. For he said, Lest he also die like his brothers. And Tamar went and dwelt in her father's house. And in process of time, Shua's daughter, the woman of Yehuda, died. And Yehuda was comforted and went up to his sheep shearers to Timnah, he and his friend Hira the Adullami. And it was told Tamar, saying, Behold, thy father in law goeth up to Timnah to shear his sheep. And she put off from her the garments of her widowhood, and covered herself with a veil, and wrapped herself, and sat in the gate of Anaim, which is by the way to Timnah. For she said, For she saw that Shelah was grown up, and she was not given to him for a woman. When Yehuda saw her, he thought her to be a harlot, for she had covered her face. And he turned to her by the way, and said, Come, I pray thee, let me come in to thee. For he knew not that she was his daughter-in-law. And she said, What wilt thou give me, that thou mayest come in to me? And he said, I will send thee a goatling of the goats from the flock. And she said, Wilt thou give me a pledge till thou send it? And he said, What pledge shall I give thee? And she said, Thy signet and thy cord and thy staff that is in thy hand. And he gave them to her and came in to her. And she conceived by him. And she arose and went away and put off her veil from her and put on the garments of her widowhood. And Yehuda sent the goatling of the goats by the hand of his friend, the Adullami, to receive the pledge from the woman's hand. But he found her not. Then he asked the men of her place, saying, Where is the prostitute that was at Enaim by the wayside? And they said, There hath been no prostitute here. And he returned to Yehuda and said, I have not found her. And also the men of the place said, There hath been no prostitute here. And Yehuda said, Let her take it to her, lest we be put to shame. Behold, I sent this goatling, and thou hast not found her. And it was about three months later that it was told Yehuda, saying, Tamar, thy daughter-in-law, hath played the harlot, and moreover, behold, she is with child by whoredom. And Yehuda said, Bring her forth and let her be burnt. When she was brought forth, she sent to her father-in-law, saying, By the man whose these are, I am with child. And she said, Discern, I pray thee, 
Whose are these? The signet and the cords and the staff. And Yehuda acknowledged them and said, She is more righteous than I. For as much as I gave her not to Shelah my son, and he experienced her again no more. And it was in the time of her travail that, behold, twins were in her womb. And it was when she travailed that one put out a hand, and the midwife took and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread, saying, This came out first. And it was as he drew back his hand that, behold, his brother came out. And she said, Wherefore hast thou made a breach for, thou, for thyself? Therefore his name was called Pereth. Afterward came out his brother that had the scarlet thread upon his hand, and his name was called Zerah. <laughs>